What if you find things in yourself, like you said, that you don't like? You find narcissism in yourself. You find darkness in yourself. What are we meant to do with that? Are we meant to heal it, resolve it? You're meant to look at it. You're meant to confront it. Um, I mean, I, I have in the book a quote from the great writer Anton Chekhov that people can't begin to change themselves until they know who they are, until they understand themselves, right? So we all want to change. We all want to be better at ourselves. But until we know who we are, until we realize our flaws and our weaknesses. So the main law of human nature, if I could summarize it, is we don't like to look at ourselves. It's always the other person. They're the ones with the problem. They're the ones who are aggressive or passive aggressive. They're the ones who feel envy. They're the ones who are rational. But me, no. No, I'm a paragon of virtue. I'm always moral. I'm always good. I'm always smart, etc. So it's the, the point isn't to beat yourself up and go, damn it, I'm an awful human being. We're all humans come from the same source. We all have the same ancestors. Our, we all have the same flaws in our brain. It's not like you're exceptional. It's not like you're the one person that doesn't have a narcissism, that doesn't have self-absorption. So realizing that you're connected to all these people, that we all have these flaws and weaknesses, is actually not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And then by examining yourself deeply, you can begin to change some of these things. You know, it's just like you, I, I don't go like, oh, damn it, I'm a narcissist. I'm self-absorbed. I think a lot about myself. I love talking about myself, which is something I'm afraid I do like to do, right? The point isn't, well, oh, well, I'm just depressed. There's nothing I can do. Once I'm aware of it, I can begin to change it. But if I'm always repressing it, if I'm always thinking, no, I'm good, I don't have those problems, then if you can't see them, how can you change them? How can you deal with them? How can you become a better person? How can you change those qualities that you don't want? One of the most important things in the laws of human nature is that you have patterns, that you are compulsive. It comes from your character, these patterns that you see in your intimate relationships. You always fall for the wrong person or you sometimes fall for the wrong person. You see it in your work world. I make these mistakes. I get fired for this reason, et cetera, et cetera. And they're good patterns, but we tend to repeat over and over and over again these, these sort of compulsive behaviors. Being aware of these patterns and being aware of these things, you can now begin to, you have the power to change them. A lot of people m climb the mountain of awareness and they get, I was thinking about people in my life that have climbed the mountain of awareness and in my own life, hill, things that I'm aware of, darkness within me that I'm aware of or challenges or patterns I'm aware of. Taking the next step from, so I think becoming aware is painful and then doing something about it is difficult. It's painful because there's a lot of cognitive dissonance associated with figuring out that you're not who you want to be, you know? And then doing something about it requires breaking what feels like old neurological pathways in my brain, you know, trigger. You think about the habit cycle. How do, Breaking that is difficult. Uh, I look at it very differently, I'm afraid. So I think actually it's worse when you're not aware of who you are. When you walk around in this world with all of these false ideas about who you are, you, you don't even know who you are. You're wearing this mask. You're not authentic. You're behaving in the world as if you're somebody else. And you're not aware of that, but it's causing you pain. It's making you suffer because you're not aware of, of the real person that you are. You're not authentic. And coming to terms with some of these dark qualities is actually a very enlightening experience. It actually can be euphoric. You go, I am an animal. I'm not this saint. I'm not this paragon that I thought I was. I'm an animal with flaws. I can embrace that. We're all like that. And it's a good thing. And feeling like you have this and you're coming to terms with it. I have a chapter on the dark side of human nature. Everybody has a shadow side. I have it. You have it, right? And... Seeing that shadow side, which is something you've been repressing since childhood, and dealing with it and confronting with it, is actually one of the most wonderful experiences you can have in life. Because repressing all of these things is what is making you miserable in life. But coming to terms with who you are and being aware of it is actually what, liberating, you know? Where, where does it come from, our dark side, what you talk about in chapter nine of the book? 
Well, I think it comes from uh, childhood. So when you're a child, when you're three or four years old, you're like this complete person. I compare it to like this round ball. You have good qualities. You have loving qualities. You love your parents, perhaps. You love your siblings, perhaps. But you also have these other darker qualities, these kind of aggressive impulses. You, sometimes you hit people. Sometimes you say nasty things, right? But you're a complete person. It's natural. It's who you are. It's how you were born. It's like a round ball, and it's complete. And then slowly, year by year, month by month, you have to cut off that dark side, that back side of yours. In school, you're told, don't ever show that part of you. Your parents are, come on, you got to be nice. You got to get along. We want want to be proud of you. All of those aggressive impulses that you have, all of those feelings where you where you felt envy about somebody, whatever, you wished you had what your, your brother or sister had, so they all go underground, right? You force them down. You don't want to deal with them, but they're still there because you're a human being. Those emotions don't leave you. They just get pushed down and they go into the back side of your head. That round ball now becomes cut off. It's like the moon with a dark side and a front side. And when you're out in the public and you're in work or in social situation, you're only showing people that bright, happy side, the good side. And you're doing the damnedest to conceal all of that dark energy inside of you. And then suddenly, because you're not aware of it, it comes out in explosions. Very typical thing is you suddenly get angry and you burst out with an angry email or you yell at somebody, you say something kind of nasty. And then you look back and you go, where did that come from? That, I didn't, that's not really me. I'm not really like that. I, I feel ashamed about that. But what you must realize is that's part of your shadow that's speaking. It's coming out. You're just not aware of it. You're trying to control it too much. And I say, the best thing in life to do is not to take out this dark side and just throw it around the world and, and, and be nasty and aggressive. That won't work. But you have to find ways to take that energy because that dark side contains a lot of energy, a lot of power, and use it and channel it into ways that are productive. So I happen to be someone who has a fair amount of aggression, I have to admit. I'm extremely competitive, right? Even in card games, I don't like losing. So I've channeled it into my books. I take all of that energy and I put it into making the best books that I can, into ambition. So if you're ambitious, channeling that energy into becoming the best and beating the competition is, is, is a productive way of using that dark energy. If you feel angry about a cause or something that pisses you off about the world, some injustices, instead of whining about it, et cetera, you go out and you do something. You do something, you, 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 you get involved in a movement or whatever. You channel that energy into something productive. That's the way to deal with the dark side. And that's, you can't go throughout life imagining that you're the saint because you're not. You have these qualities. If you love the Diary of a CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor. Become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.